And let's switch back to uh, bio for a second. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you obviously got third, so you got close to full marks, basically, in the whole unit. Yeah. Now, w- what are your big tips there? Like, besides general study strategies, mm-hmm. give us your, your top tips for studying bio and Ooh. maybe take people through your approach uh, to each phase of exams, if you like. So, mm-hmm. what did you do before your assessments for bio? Were you keeping your notes up to date or did you kind of cram a lot? And you can be honest about mm-hmm. that. And then trials and then HSC. So yeah. take us through your process for those so, stages. So honestly, for the beginning of the year, I was very consistent with my notes. I, I, I do everything on paper. I don't like to take notes on my computer because I find personally that I only remember things if I write them down. Mm. So I took all my notes on paper. I would draw my diagrams, everything. Um, my notebooks were my, my pride and joy. But for the beginning of the year, I was doing good. Once lockdown happened, that was like a big blow for my mental health and I think mm. for everyone's mental health. Mm. So around trials, since we did trials online, I definitely dropped like my grades in the trials for biology, which is one thing I am frustrated about because I do, I do think that I could have maybe edged first. to first if I hadn't have done that, but you know, whatever. Did you come um, first in your year though as a, as a rank? I did, okay. in the end. Did I? I think I did. Okay. Um, maybe, I, I, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Yeah, so around trials, our trials were on Zoom they gave us a very strange structure for our trials. We had a multiple choice and a, a like another thing, and we had half an hour for each of them mm-hmm. separated. Uh, it was really weird. But yeah, I didn't do so good on those. But before then, I had been doing really well. Mainly, I just think it was because I would hand write everything, and then I would just kind of keep going over it, and I would annotate my own notes sometimes. Mm-hmm. Or if we had to do hand in stuff I would go on to I'm sure everyone knows JSTOR but I would go on to JSTOR and I'd print out just thing after thing after thing and I'd read them and annotate them which helped me a lot for our hand in work for Mm. biology and then for the HSC biology was when I kind of really got my act together again because I was like oh my god I'm I'm, I'm dropping off on bio so (laughs) I did quite a few past papers and then I would go through if first I would do them, I would do them. And if I didn't know the answer, I would just leave it. Because I didn't want to write down something that was wrong mm. and then get it stuck in my head mm. and then have the wrong answer. So if I didn't know, I would just leave it. And then I would come back and I would copy the sample answer. Then I would look up why that was true and like kind of explain the sample answer to myself, mm. but writing it down. So I'd be like, this is why this, this is why this. And okay. then I would go through and I kept doing that until... I could answer all of them Mm. and then I would just do past papers and past papers. But the other thing that I did, which I think was the most helpful thing that I did for biology was I made double sided note pages for each of the four modules. Mm -hmm. So right before the exam, I think maybe a week before the bio exam, I had four double sided handwritten things of just every key piece of information I could need for each module, like with the most important bits highlighted. Yeah. So I still have them somewhere, but so it's just like... <laughs> Everyone wants them. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it would be like, you know, module eight, and then I'd have just dot point, dot point, dot point of every important thing mm. in module eight, which now I don't even remember what module eight was about. So those like day, those first, first or last few days rather mm-hmm. before the exam were particularly important for you. Yeah. And, 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 uh, helpful because of that that short-term memory yeah yeah i i think that's just luck honestly Mm. that i have a pretty good short-term memory but But i think it goes for for everyone in that like you know recency like Mm. is a factor yeah yeah definitely you should have like learnt i guess learnt the concepts and Mm -hmm. and the content as far as understanding goes Mm -hmm. before and oh yeah you know make sure you're understanding things as you learn it Mm -hmm. but also it's great to have some of these like you know the quick notes flat go to go to and just remember those words and go over them Mm -hmm. again and again Flashcards was another big thing I had. I had a stack of flashcards about this high for each subject where I would have anything that I could think of that I needed to know. Mm. Um, So for German, I would have translations of keywords to use in my essays. For English, I would have all my quotes. For ancient history, I had all 107-ish quotes that I remembered, I think. The big thing for me that helped with bio was treating myself like an idiot. (laughs) <laughs> and explaining to myself things that I felt like I already knew. Mm. I feel like that's the sign of really knowing something. If you can explain it to a child, you probably understand it at a very deep level. That was kind of what I tried to do. I just wanted to pretend like I was stupid. So then I would like really have to hammer the point home yeah. on big things. Um, yeah, so you can teach yourself that way and you can also try explaining it to mm. someone else. It doesn't have to be a five-year-old, but you actually yeah. could do that. 
and you could uh, sit down yeah. with someone, a younger cousin or something and or sibling and say, hey, do you understand this? And if they keep saying, what's that mean? What's that mean? You keep having mm. to go break a little bit deeper, break them. down, break down to the, to the fundamentals, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I did try to tell my sister stuff. She wasn't interested. She didn't care. So... 